Hi everyone, this is our experience of the tea house hike at Lake Louise. We did loads of research before we went and we documented a lot of it, so I thought I'd share it and it was an amazing hike. So we started at about 7 a.m. We read lots about the car park, getting a spot, and everything is completely true. So we went in August and we parked at the lake and yeah, you've got to get there by 7.30 a.m. It's advised to get a spot. So we took provisions and we headed around the side of the lake. And the first stop where we're heading to is the Mirror Lake. So it's quite cool when you start in the morning at about seven, but it warmed up so quickly. The hike up to the Mirror Lake is quite steep to start off with, but you're walking through the trees and you've got a little bit of shade and it really just winds round, so you're getting quite high quite quickly. A lot of people will just go to Mirror Lake and then turn round, so we did see a few people on this trail, but of course starting early meant that we missed the most of the crowds and honestly, if you go to Lake Louise in the morning, you saw that first photo. It is absolutely beautiful and it's just full of kind of the serious hikers. <laughs> Mirror Lake is a great place to just stop and have a sit and have a little bit of a drink and then you can decide which way you're going to go. If you're going to go straight then up to the tea house at Lake Agnes or you can go off to Little Beehive, which is a lookout spot, which we decided to and it was a little bit of a quieter trail and I think actually Little Beehive was one of our favorite viewpoints. It's only about a kilometer and a half and it really is worth it to look down at Lake Louise and look round at the mountains as well. You can see you're now at the top of a lot of the taller trees and there are little chipmunks everywhere. And what's really cool is that you can see the glaciers, you can see a lot of snow as well, which we were really surprised about, seeing as it was a very hot day in August. So once we've checked out Little Beehive, we headed then to the Lake Agnes Tea House. You go back the same way and then you can go off on a different path. If, like me, you love a circular walk, there's not actually that much that was doubled back. So we headed down to the tea house. That's where you've got the toilets as well and you can get your refreshments. It's so cool to sit and look out at Lake Agnes to the right and look down at Lake Louise to the left. You might have to queue a little bit to get a table, but it's totally worth it. And they've got loads of loose leaf tea, sandwiches, cakes, loads of stuff, and it's completely self-sufficient. I think all the supplies are flown in by helicopter and the staff stay up there for three, four days at a time. So it's really cool. They also give you a garbage bag so you can take your rubbish back down, which we like the idea of. So we had a choice after this whether to go back or keep going and we decided to then go to Big Beehive which is the tallest of the lookouts and you get to loop round Lake Agnes which was such a nice view. You can see it's just gorgeous and beautiful and blue but you've then got quite a steep hike up the other side. However, it then meant that you felt really rewarded when you got to the top of Big Beehive and it's really cool to then look back down at Lake Agnes and then Lake Louise as well as you work your way around. So we finally got to Big Beehive and again this is kind of the famous lookout point. There's a little bit of shade as well so you can look out and plenty of places to sit and soak in the 360 view. We then had a few options after Big Beehive. We really wanted to go to the other tea house as well, but my husband wasn't feeling very well that day. He did so well with a stonking cold in that altitude. So we wanted to do a little bit more of a walk. So as you can see on the map, you can keep going on to the next tea house. So we walked part of this route, which we really liked because it's kind of more off the beaten track. It was a little bit more woodland and it actually felt really relaxing. Um, 
you were going downhill making your descent, but there were still a few uphills as well. So you get to this kind of crossroads point where you can either carry on and you can go to the next tea house or you can loop back to the lake, but taking a different route. So again, it gives you that circular walk. And I think from Big Beehive back to where we started, Lake Louise that way, it was about five kilometers. You get to walk past this lovely, natural waterfall as well and then you get to see Lake Louise emerge as you get back which is awesome. There were actually people rock climbing which was really cool to watch and then it's a nice relaxing walk along the flats and you can see the hotel and the edge of Lake Louise come into view. It was a lot busier as we started to get back. Some people were just doing a stroll along the flats. I think we got back about 3 p.m. altogether and if I'm honest, if I'd arrived at Lake Louise at 3 p.m., I wouldn't have liked it at all. It was completely full of people just getting their photos. So one thing to take away from this is to start early, take provisions and just enjoy the view. And we were very glad for a sit down at the end. So if you go to Banff, if you go to Lake Louise, I would really recommend doing this hike. And if you've got time, go to the second tea house as well. It looks amazing. And I'm sure we'll do that on our next visit.